What's good? It's Jordan. Today I'll be talking to you about the fruit of lies. In this modern world that we live in, we've been eating from the fruit of lies for far too long. But what we must understand is by us eating from the fruit of lies, we will not have a positive relationship with the true and living God. Understand that everything in this society that is deemed right is not approving to the true and living God. These are the fruit of lies that we must understand is that in this society, they'll try to deceive us and push us further away from following God. They'll try to impose many laws that try to further our relationship from God. And these are the things that the wicked do, the ones who follow the devil. Understand that when you're following the devil and not following God, you'll be deceived. You'll live in this world under the rebellious spirit, under the antichrist spirit, and everything that you do is opposing to the true and living God. But what we must do is turn to God and get ourselves out of that spirit. You know, when I used to live in that spirit and when I used to live in the world, I used to tell other people, man, it's fine that you go out there and fornicate. It's fine that you can do whatever you want to do. Your body is your choice. You could do what you want to do with your body. I was telling men that it's fine that they go out there and just fornicate with women many various numerous of women and i was fine with women out there putting themselves and their bodies in front of media doing what they have to do for money i was saying that abortion is fine because it's their choice if they want to abort their child their unborn child I was telling people that, man, it's fine if you want to be a homosexual and live in sin. It's fine if you want to abuse drugs. It's fine if you want to do whatever you want because it's your life. But when I was under that spirit, I didn't understand and grasp the concept that God doesn't approve of that. Once God pulled me out of that spirit, I had to repent and ask God for forgiveness for the things that I used to do in this life, following this wicked world. But these are the whirlwinds that you can get caught up into. These are the things that can ruin you. But God pulled me out of that spirit for me to relay this message to those who are doing it in this world, in this day and age, and that are under the illusions. Fornicating left, right and center with everybody isn't right. The homosexual lifestyle that people decide to choose, I don't condone it, it isn't right. It isn't approved from God. I don't hate people who indulge in the homosexual lifestyle. God doesn't call me to hate, but I do not condone or approve of that lifestyle. So moving forward, what we must understand is that when we're dealing with people, we deal with people in truth and not spew lies. The lies only make people feel good for a little bit, but in reality, you're hurting the soul, you're hurting these individuals, and you're leading them towards hell. If I was to continue living under that spirit, you know how many people I would already have led to hell? But no. I would have to pay the big penalty and a judgment for that, for how many people I led astray. It's not fine telling men to go out there and fornicate with how many girls they want to. It's not fine telling the girls that they can put themselves on the internet and if they want to be naked on the internet, they can do that. That isn't fine. They could go around and fornicate with how many men they want to. That isn't fine. That is of the world. And once you do these things, you destroy yourself internally and externally. 
God calls us to follow him, follow his word, follow his scriptures, his laws, his statutes and commandments, not be in the world indulging in sin. Look, the reality of the situation is God had mercy upon my soul. And I was able to repent and ask him for forgiveness for my sins and how I've led others in my past life towards the wrong direction. But now I have the ability to lead people towards the right direction and I'm doing so. We have to understand that entertainment, media, news platforms and publications also approve of these things, these sins living in this world. They tell you you can do whatever. They program you through entertainment, whether it be music, movies, TV shows. They tell you that the worldly lifestyle is fine. God approves of it. God won't do nothing about it. We're leading people astray if we continue to abide by that policy. That is the antichrist spirit. That is the spirit of wickedness that the devil plays on and the devil laughs because the devil knows that even when you indulge in these lifestyles and these practices, that you're going to the same place that he's going in the end. And we don't wanna be in that place. We don't wanna be eternally separated from God. That doesn't help. But you know, we still have the ability to turn from our ways. We still have the ability to serve the Lord. We still have the ability to change and understand that the Lord could refocus and redevelop our minds. They'll tell you in the school system, you could do whatever you want to do. You could network and get these big opportunities. You could be selfish, steal from others, take from others just to have the world in your hands. Yeah, you'll be a high earner, but what is it being a high earner when you're so far away from God? What happens when that money runs out? Are those people who told you that, will they still be there? These are the lies that people spew. These are the lies that I once heard and was imposing on others. Now I'm here to impose the truth. Don't walk in this world and feel as though you can do whatever you want to do with yourself, your life and your body and live in a rebellious spirit. God doesn't call us to do that. God calls us to follow him with all our hearts. Understand that the lies that we spew about others as well. God does not approve of that. God doesn't tell us to go out there and talk about others and spread lies. But if we're gonna talk and give a testimony, it should be in truth. Everything should be in truth. Everything should be exposed and uncovered. We shouldn't tell people that they gotta do this with their life. They gotta do whatever they gotta do with their life in this world in order to live like us in the world that are doing the same thing and still lost. But what we must understand is we got to plant seeds, show people your relationship with God. Show them the way, the truth and the life, which is Jesus Christ, the Messiah. What we must not do is try to indulge in this world and the practices of this world because it will get us nowhere. Listen, even as far as the government they impose laws that allow the wickedness, that allow the system to have a false sense of success. They tell you, you can do whatever you wanna do. It's fine. Everything that's against the true and living God. Listen, for me, I do not follow behind any politician, any political group, because they spew various of lies. They tell you they'll fix a problem with a solution. And then when they're in office, they don't even fix the problem with a solution. And if they do fix a problem with the solution, 
it causes another problem that doesn't even help the vast majority of society. These are the lies that they spew. With your hard earned quote unquote taxpayer dollars. So what I'm saying is we have to see through the lies. We have to see through the deception. We have to see through what is going on in this society and it's not helping us. It's ruining us because now you have a land of people who are lost. They don't seek God. They don't seek the Lord. They don't even feel inside that the Lord is real. They feel that they're just a walking vessel. They can do whatever living in lostness, living in sorrow and pain on the inside. This world tells you to do whatever you want to do. But these people who tell you to do whatever that you want to do, ask them if they do what they want to do. These artists, they make the music. And the music that they make is to destroy the youth, to have violence, war among the inner cities. But ask them if they want their kids to be participating in the war, in the violence, in gang wars, in rebellion. They don't want that for their kids, but they want that for your kids. Entertainment as well in movies, shows. It shows the violent upbringings that these actors and actresses play. Ask them if they want their kids to be in that. They'll tell you no, but they want your kids to be in that. The price you pay for fame. This is the price that we pay for fame. We're leading other people astray but we don't want that for ourselves or our kids. This is the fruit of lies that we decide to consume and destroy one another. You may act as if you have good intentions for your neighbor, for your close friend, your family, your associate. You may act as if you have good intentions because they wanna do something for their lives that is positive, that is of God. But when they start doing it, it's an issue. It's a problem. You want to stop them from changing their lives. You want them to live in sin still. Because living in sin is comfort. It makes you feel like you're comfortable. It makes you feel like everything is good. When nothing is good, this world isn't even safe. If you feel safe in this world, then I have a lot of questions to ask you. We go and target the people who are trying to help following God, following his scripture, following what he wants us to do. You try to attack those people, but the people who are leading you to the abyss, you don't have anything to say at all. Then you go and tell other people that. Those people who are telling the truth, stay away from them. They're telling lies. But the people who are telling lies and masking it with the truth. You say it's fine for them to say what they need to say. But the people who are telling lies, you say, man, that's cool, that's good. You should do that. And you're leading people in the wrong direction. I don't feel safe in this world because I know this world is a fallen world. And you shouldn't either. And even if we hear harsh truths, understand that as long as the truth is under God's law, it is there to help you. And you still have the opportunity to change your ways. You still have the opportunity to serve the Lord. But if you decide to serve the world, and what the world tells you to do, man, you got a, you got a lot to deal with. I'm going to be very honest, a lot to deal with. Understand, man, that what we decide to do in this life is very important. And God doesn't like lies. God doesn't like us leading his people astray. We tell people that we got all this success, all this notoriety, fame, fortune in this world that they got to go out there and network. They got to go out there and do hard work. 
with the people who are saying that don't even do hard work. The people who are saying these things didn't even do the work. Behind the scenes, they've gotten inheritances for their businesses. They've gotten pardons from political movements. They've gotten so much benefits in this world that you can't even imagine. Nepotism is very much real in this society. It is very much real. So anyone who's telling you just go out there and work hard and hard work just gets you wherever you need to go. Don't listen to those people because they didn't even work hard. They just knew a lot of people in order to get them there. And they had a lot of people provide them with resources behind the scenes to get them in the quote unquote successful position that they're in. These are the fruit of lies that people sprue all the time and make you feel less than and make you feel like your hard work is going on notice. Listen, your hard work isn't going on notice. If your hard work is unto the Lord, it is never going to be on notice. But please, stop eating from the fruit of lies and understand the truth. Understand that the true and living God is behind all of these things in this world. And if we read the scripture, we understand the scripture, and we look back in past societies, the same thing has been happening. The same exact thing has been happening. The scriptures are literally coming off the page. And we bang our head every single time once we decide to do not of what God wants us to do. History repeats itself. But are you going to be a part of history or are you going to be a part of the change? Are you going to run with people to get along or are you going to be the outcast in society? Are you going to follow God or are you going to have handlers in this world that are leading you far away from God? The choice is yours because the Lord says we have free will. But understand that the Lord wants us to choose him. The Lord wants us to follow him. But what you decide to do, the lies that you decide to be under in this society, it isn't going to help you. It isn't going to help anybody. It's not going to help your family. It's not going to help your friends. It's not going to help your children, associates. It isn't going to help. Even in the workplace environment, you may be quiet. You're just doing your work, doing what you need to get done. But people spread lies and make it seem like you hate others in the workplace environment. They try to make you do little icebreaker games so you can reveal yourself to them. And then behind your back, they talk about your business. They talk about what you have going on at home when you open up to them. This is the wickedness that goes on in this day and age. It's not only entertainment, but in the regular industries, in the regular jobs, this happens on a day-to-day -day basis to many different people. But it's just people don't have the voice to openly speak these things because sometimes people don't have the courage to talk about these things because they got a lot on their table so they can't even talk about some of the things that they go through in this modern society. But I know, I know, these are the lies that are spread in this society. They want you to go along to get along. They want you to be far away from God. They want you to not serve God. But in the scripture today, I'll be reading about the fruit of the lies and how in the scripture it explains these things to a T where in this society, we can navigate in the proper way. Proverbs 12, 18 to 19. The lip of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. There is that speaketh like the piercing of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. The tongue of the wise brings forth health. Colossians 3, 9 to 10. But now ye also put off all these things anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds 
and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after. Luke 8, 16 to 17. No man, when he hath lighted a candle, covered it with a vessel, or put it under a bed, but setteth it on to a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Everything that we do in this life will be brought to the light, every single thing. So my advice to you is to follow God. My advice to you is to follow his laws, statutes, and commandments because it will be exposed, it will be brought up. But what we have the ability to do is follow God. So when judgment arises and judgment comes, we're on the right side. We're not on the wrong side. But everything will be brought to the light. And even when things are brought to the light and we're dealing with God, we can't lie to God. We can't deceive God. We can't make God feel like he doesn't know what's going on. He knows. So it's best we serve him and it's best we just live in a direction that's pleasing towards him, the righteous path, the righteous way. And these lies that we want to do in this world for material possessions, gains, notoriety, we can't use that on God. God doesn't even approve of that. We can't manipulate God. It won't work. Psalms 109, 1 to 3. Hold not thy peace, O God, for my praise for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They have compassed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. See, understand that in this fallen world, there's still going to be people who try to fight you for telling the truth, who try to fight you for following God. But understand that God will be your protector, your guide, and your strength. Understand that, yes, you will be sad, sorrowful of these situations, but it's here to bring us strength. It's here to bring us in a walk with God that is very powerful than the deceit that's going on in this world. Even with the fruit of lies that people decide to use, it only can get you so far, but it can't get you far with God. And if you decide that you want to live under the fruit of lies and just live in this world and fall away and fall from grace, Understand the penalty that you will pay for that because you will pay a penalty for that. I will pay a penalty for that if I decide to do that. Everyone pays the penalty from not following God. But we will not pay a penalty if we decide to follow God and turn away from the lies, turn away from the sin, turn away from the things of the world that we try to embrace. And understand that if somebody is following God, telling the truth, encourage that person, guide that person, strengthen that person. Don't make them feel like an outcast. Don't make them feel like they're doing wrong. Make them feel like they're doing right and they're doing the right thing. Because you either can live for the God or you can live for the world. Understand that we also have to pay attention in this day and age for new age spirituality, where people talk about God, test the spirit, identify the spirit. Are these people following the true and living God? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Understand that people will say they believe in a God, a creator. But new age spirituality will destroy Many people, if they decide to follow it and not the true and living God, we have the ability to plant seeds and work in those who are confused, lost in the faith and need guidance. But those who are currently lost, confused and don't understand the faith, 
you got to put your best foot forward to put your faith in the Lord and know that the Lord will guide you and trust in the Lord with all your heart. I want to thank you today. And I hope that in your own life, if those around you or even you are eating from the fruit of lies, that you repent, turn away from it, follow God and decide to make a change in your life to help those who are in need spiritually, mentally, physically, and financially. I want to thank you guys for watching today. Peace.